Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and it's about that time of month to round up the best Android apps that were released in December. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Cliplayer is a Microsoft application from early December. It's a simple screenshot tool that can be launched pretty much whenever you want. You go into your settings, make it your default assistant, and then you'll be able to long press the home button to initiate the app. You can then tweak which parts of the screen you want to capture. The only downside is that you'll lose access to personal assistant applications like Google Now if you use them. It's a free application if you want to try it out. Google went ahead and updated their Google Keyboard to simply Gboard. At its core, it functions almost exactly as Google Keyboard always has. The difference is a nifty little Google search button that's on the action bar. You can use this to look up everything from directions to GIFs without having to stop whatever you're doing. The new features are a little buggy, but we expect Google to fix that over time. It's still a top three keyboard for those who are interested. Giphy Cat Loops is a new GIF camera. With it, you can record video from your device's camera, and you can also record your device's screen to make your own GIFs. On top of that, you can use links from sites like YouTube to import stuff to turn into GIFs as well. You'll be able to create captions and personalize with emoji to make everything just right. There is also a share feature, just as you'd expect. It's a totally free application if you want to check it out. NBA in Play is a fun little application that you use while you watch NBA games. The central premise is that you select players that you think will do well. You'll then compete against your friends or players from everywhere to see who guessed the best. It syncs using the audio from the basketball game on your television so you can hop in quickly. It's a good companion app for basketball fans and you can even win prizes if you do well enough. It's a free download with no in-app purchases. Netflix VR is the official VR application from Netflix, and it's the Netflix app you'll be using if you want to watch on Google Daydream. That means not everyone can use this one. You log into your account just like you normally would on the regular Netflix app. The interface is simply a living room setup where you watch TV, and the TV is where Netflix content plays. The controls are a little weird, and the app is a little buggy, but we're sure Netflix will clean this one up eventually. It's a free download if that helps. PayPal Business is an application for business owners. It provides most of the standard features of PayPal. However, the difference is that it allows you to do things like send invoices, manage sales, view account activity, transfer money, and access customer info much easier than the standard app. The interface is clean and takes most of its design cues from the official PayPal application. It has a few bugs here and there, but otherwise it seems to work pretty well. It's also a free download. Pyro Browser is a lightweight browser based on Chromium. It's a rather simple experience overall and works about as you'd expect. Its claim to fame is the ability to browse in full screen mode and its built-in ad block capabilities. Both of these features can be turned on or off at your discretion, and the ad block can be turned on or off on a per site basis based on your needs. It's a free download, but do beware of those early release bugs. Quartz is a news application that operates like a texting app. When you open the application, it'll send you a text about some news. You can then choose to learn more or pass on that news and wait for something else. You can have the application send you notifications based on your preferences as well. The quick nature of the app and the information provided make it a good way to keep up to date when doing something like standing in line at the grocery store. You can also tap on any message to go to the website source and read more there. It's actually not half bad. Trusted Contacts is a new Google application that shares your location. You'll open up the app and then assign some trusted contacts. You can then broadcast your location to them so that they know where you are and that you're safe. They can also request your location if they're worried about you. The application will only send your location if you don't respond after a set period of time. It's great for things like when kids go trick-or-treating or during field trips. It's also completely free. After years of being the aftermarket recovery of choice, Team Win Recovery Project released their official app. It's actually an extremely simple app to use. You open it, find your device, choose the version of the recovery that you want, and then the application will download it. Those who have root access can also have the recovery flashed right there in the app. This is quickly becoming one of those applications that virtually all root users should at least check out. Do note that your phone will need to be able to flash a custom recovery in order for the flash to actually work. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, we have more Android apps and games lists linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. Don't forget that you can check out these applications yourself using the links in the video description below and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Happy New Year's and have a wonderful day.